still got your photograph in my pocket. What's going on YouTube? It's Gup the Knight here coming to you with yet another video. And today's video is about the Xbox One X, what I am actually currently playing Forza 7 on. And boy oh boy does the Xbox One X make games look gorgeous. Not gonna lie. Well, games that are enhanced for it anyway. <clears throat> so, um, I did hopefully fix the uh, volume issue I did have with my previous video and I apologize for that guys. Um, I did not realize that my voice was so quiet compared to the gameplay. Now I hope this video is a lot better and I apologize for that. And before we also get back into the topic, if you guys could, down in the description down below there are going to be a few links for our, if you guys would like to support the channel. Uh, one of them is an Amazon affiliate link. You don't have to buy that item. Just every time you go to Amazon, if you could, just, you know, use that link and go to that item. It actually does help the channel grow a lot. Now, with that said, guys, let's get into the actual topic here of why the Xbox One X is being held back by its CPU. Well, it's being held back for a number of reasons. So instead of Microsoft jumping for a all new Zen based uh, processor, they stayed with the old 8 core Jaguar processor, which uh, okay, this is tech from what? 2011? Really? And don't judge me guys, I know I suck at this game so don't judge but hey, it just got me in the second place you have this massive amazing GPU that is capable of 4k with just an old old processor from 2011 guys Get, that's our 2013 I know the Xbox came out in 2013 but I want to say this process is probably from 2011 it's old it is really really old guys wait did I already play this track with you guys I think I did, but, and it's only clocked at 2.1 gigahertz. Now, a 6 teraflop GPU, they, some people have tried to compare it to a GTX 1080. I personally do not agree with that, I would say more close to an RX 580, um, but even the 580 is still a very, very, very capable car. Um, and this hardware is amazing uh, in the Xbox One X, but it's being held back because this CPU, it's old, old architecture. It, it needs, it would have been better if it, it was updated. I know that would have driven up the cost. And maybe they had to sacrifice a little bit on the GPU. So Microsoft knows what they're doing, but ultimately I do believe that Microsoft could have put a better CPU in there and it would have done better. Because um, you have games like Forza Horizon 3 that run up 4K, don't get me wrong. Amazing. It's amazing. But it's at 30 FPS because of the CPU. It needs more CPU horsepower to drive an open world game like that at 60 FPS. Now, what I'm playing right now can all be pre-rendered. So, yes, CPU power is still important, but just look at Shadow of Earth, um, Shadow of Earth, uh, what is the new one? The Shadow of War, there we go, sorry guys. Uh, that only, it runs at 4K, which kudos for them getting that to run at 4K on the Xbox, like, great job guys. But it's at 30 FPS because it's an open world that has a lot of uh, people coming in and out of the fight scenes. Well, you can't do that on a 2.1 gigahertz processor that is from, you know, 2011. Like, you just can't do that. I'm not running the same processor I was in 2011. Granted, I'm running one from 2015, but we just can't do that. That, that is, in my opinion, why the Xbox One the X is being held back. I don't really think it's going to be maybe they did that because they needed compatibility with the old Xbox if that's the case 
again, I do understand why they did it, but it just it stinks that this five hundred dollar piece of hardware is held back. It is still to this day of this video probably the best gaming machine you can get out there as of right now because of the GPU market. Get back here, boy. I'm gonna pass you. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Uh, aha! Did it. I still think because of cryptocurrency, it is the best gaming machine out there. Hands down, there's no question to ask. So, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Uh, do you think the Xbox One X is being held back by its, you know, what is it now, seven year old processor? I want to know what you guys think. Do you think Microsoft had to do it to keep uh, compatibility with the Xbox, the original Xbox One? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments down below. I'm going to pause this real quick so I can stop the stream. So this is Death of Night, guys. Signing out.